Thief. Liar. Murderer. I prefer Samson if I'm being honest. I spent most of my childhood in the great city of Brumer in the mountains of Cyrodiil, so adjusting to the cold out here hasn't been too much of a problem as of yet, but that doesn't stop me from complaining. Growing up in Brumer was... different, especially when you're an only child whose parents died before I was even old enough to even form a memory of them, so you learn to fend for yourself pretty quickly as it turns out. Not that I've ever even been anywhere close to the gold standard, quite the opposite in fact. When you grow up an orphaned Imperial around the most Nordic city in Cyrodiil, there's certain traits you have to learn in order to survive. Listen, I never said there were good traits, but once you've stolen your first loaf of bread, a couple of sweet rolls, then there's few steps left to take until you start stealing jewellery from the local stores around the city. And then there's even fewer steps after that until you're disguising as a Castle Brumer guard and stealing straight from Count Carvain's treasury. But you quickly learn to accept that that's just part of the game. And sometimes, the best part of a good heist is the escape. And I've made some friends along the way, even did some mercenary work for a while before my partner tried to kill me on a crazy skooma high. But overall, life was good. Well, as good as it could be for an Imperial kid with no known family and a history of thievery. But everyone knew what I was, there was no hiding it really. Samson of Rumor, the most famous thief in all of Cyrodiil. Two things that don't really fit together well in my experience. Perhaps I should have called myself the Brown Fox or something, maybe then I wouldn't be in the position I am today. Held up with a group of bandits on the Skyrim border, fleeing from my past mistakes. Samson of Brumer is the new playthrough series which some of you might remember me mention in the last video. It begins on the border of Skyrim after Samson, Cyrodiil's most famous thief, has been outlawed by the Empire for reasons that will reveal themselves throughout the duration of the playthrough. If you missed my last video, then this series is going to be over on my second channel, although at this point I've sunk as much time into this as some main channel videos, but I've already got y'all to subscribe there, so fuck it. Even if that channel isn't monetized. Also, the other day on my community tab, I thought I'd ask you lot for some quick questions to answer in this teaser slash official announcement type video, so let's get to them now. Is the new character a protagonist, or are we seeing the story from the eyes of an antagonist? Well, it depends on who you ask, I suppose. Is this series in some way connected to Fat Thor? I cannot confirm nor deny these claims. Is this series going to take place in Skyrim or in some other place added by a mod? Well, I think you know the answer to that now. But mainly Skyrim, but there are other mods. What kind of build are you going for? Mainly a rogue thief, but he knows how to handle himself in a scrap if he needs to. Will you give your new character a backstory and will you roleplay? Oh yes, and oh oh yes. Will Fat Thor be in the game as a follower, as an NPC, or maybe as the final boss? I cannot confirm or deny these claims. Is there going to be permadeath and will you be using Requiem? Okay, so no, and here's why. Requiem, at least on the special edition, is really dodgy to 1. get working and 2. turn off when I don't want it. So making other videos alongside the playthrough would be a massive pain in the arse. So no Requiem or permadeath. As backwards as it sounds, if I wasn't roleplaying I probably would do permadeath. What race are you playing as? Mmm, Imperial? Please tell me you incorporated your Dark Souls mods into it. Yes sir. Not all, but most of the core gameplay features. Will you be playing as an Ent? Um, no? How much do you plan to do story slash guild slash DLC and will it be a narrative or roleplay? So it's narrative and roleplay at the same time if that makes sense. I know where I want the story to go, but the journey there will be roleplayed. Is it modded and if so, how many mods? Uh, yeah dude, it's modded. <laughs> and as we stand, it's exactly 200 mods. And I want to try and avoid adding too many more during the playthrough, for obvious reasons. You said this was going to be different than other playthroughs, is this going to be like a first person journal entry from the eyes of your character? Well that teaser should give you a better idea about that, but there will be times when we see more journal entry scenes and others when it's fully live roleplay. Basically, what mods are you going to be using? I don't want to say exactly here, but the mod list will be in the description of each episode if you're interested. But I'd actually encourage you not to look at the list if you don't want any spoilers. 
and we're going to leave the questions there. And I just wanted to say before I end this video, as I mentioned earlier, this series, at least for a while, isn't going to be monetized at all. So if you're looking forward to it and want to help support the series, allowing me to dedicate more time to it, then consider supporting me on Patreon. There's a whole bunch of tier benefits available, like early access to videos, your name in the credits, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So head over there if that's something you're interested in. Anyway, while I'm shilling, go over and sub to my second channel where the full first episode will be posted soon. Sub here if you haven't already, and I'll leave you with yet another look at Samson of Bruma.